How you guys doing? My name is Savannah Kirkland. Welcome back to my channel. God gave me a dream about T.D. Jakes and Kurt Franklin in 2011. It had been really hard for me to share this dream, but I'm going to share it with you guys. God gave me this dream in two parts. The first part was T.D. Jakes. Second part will be about Kurt Franklin. I asked the Most High Yah, why did he give me a dream about both T.D. Jakes and Kurt Franklin? And he said, both know what they are doing. Both are leading large group of my people to hell. Both know me, once served me, now serving Satan. They are too far gone to pray for themselves. They need the help of their true brothers and sisters to pray for them. They are in agreement, like-mindedness, serving Satan, by misleading my people, saith the Lord. Welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah Kirkland. Here is where I share everything about frugal living, homestead, and gardening. I also have occasional dreams that God give me that I share. I recently shared a dream about Kurt Franklin. I think that's something you really should check out. So if you're interested, I will be leaving the link below. T.D. Jake started out his ministry walking with the Most High Yah. He was in love with him and he wanted to bring as much souls to the kingdom of heaven as he could. But once he started getting recognized and getting deals and offer, he fell in love with the money and turned away from the Most High Yah. The dream started with T.D. Jake's on the pulpit. He was talking to his congregation, which was thousands of people. He was on TV, which he was talking to millions of people. He used his body, arms, and legs to point people to the direction of hell. His wife was standing right beside him, and she was unknowingly following her husband to hell. Mrs. Jakes was going to hell because she did not have a personal relationship with the Most High Yah. The love and relationship she was supposed to have for God, she had for her husband. Therefore, she followed her husband straight to hell. And millions of people followed right along behind them. Kurt Franklin was in a nightclub. It was very dark. It had very little light. More light was on, so on the stage. And Kurt Franklin was in the back of the stage waiting to get called out for an interview. And he looked it so nervous like somebody was going to attack him. So Kurt Franklin came out and they asked him a few questions. And then they asked him, was he a part of the LGBTQIA community or was he a Christian? And... He said, I have to choose one. And they said, yes. And he couldn't choose. Kurt Franklin worked it so hard over the years to prove that he was not gay. Okay. So he was so hurt. But on the other hand, if Kurt Franklin chose Christianity, he was going to lose all of his money. And Kurt Franklin knew what it was going to be before he came out. That's why he was so nervous. And Kurt Franklin could not choose. And when he, it looks like he was leaning over to the LBTQIA community, the dream ended. Brothers and sisters, y'all want us to pray for T.D. Jakes and Kurt Franklin and the souls that they're leading to the lake of fire. Peace.